the Paraceratherium. This thing was most likely the largest land mammal that ever existed, although there are some debates of whether some ancient elephants were heavier or not. It was almost 100% the tallest land mammal that has ever existed with about a shoulder height of 5 meters and a length of 7.4 meters and a neck length that could reach between 1.5 to 2.5 meters. It sort of looked like a mix between a giraffe and a rhino which isn't really surprising considering that they were related to rhinos or they are related to rhinos. Uh, more like worse since they're all dead. <laughs> Now this thing weighed in between 15 and 20 tons, which is completely insane, making it multiple times heavier than uh, our modern day little African elephants. Now fossils have mainly been discovered between China all the way to the Balkans, and it lived between the early and late Oligocene epoch. Now the Oligocene was the period in time when the Earth's climate started to shift to what we see and experience today. The habitat that Paraceratherium lived in was most likely forest, which isn't really surprising considering that, I mean just look at them, they're built for browsing. They most likely had extremely large territories like modern day elephants do, and they needed these giant territories so they had enough trees to browse on. And this was especially important considering the fact that they that if they had similar digestive systems to modern day rhinos, then they couldn't really get that much nutrients from leaves. So it was imperative that they had enough trees to eat from. Adult Paraceratherium probably didn't have any natural predators with maybe one exception of a giant crocodilian that lived in Pakistan in the late Oligocene. Now the cause of the Paraceratherium's extinction isn't completely known, although the most prominent theory is the fact that massive changes in the environment caused their ultimate downfall. Probably these forests changed into the steppe and the grasslands that we see across much of Central, Euro Central Eurasia today. One thing that could have influenced this was the arrival of ancient early elephants in Asia. And elephants are obviously known for knocking down trees and changing their environments. And this would not have been good news for the Paraceratherium. So that could have sped things up, although I don't think that that was the complete cause of their downfall. It was probably more climate based things, uh, but nevertheless, it's dead, so who cares, right? Anyways, if you want to see more videos about ancient species like the Paraceratherium, then drop a like and subscribe. Maybe comment on what you want to see a video on specifically. And I will see you in the next video.